Greetings, Director. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? Glistening before you, and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth, is Galactic Air's newest high-orbit station, and your first hospital. I am Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare, as we strike out amongst the stars. Soon, patients from all throughout the solar system will darken our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Medibots on standby, Director. Before then, Ms. Orion wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Yeah, and there she is! The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Contacts will wait for you to answer. Bonjour, guten tag, moshi moshi director, and welcome to Galactic Air. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab, so that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, Heel! Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes, we'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, mind you. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken, and it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyra. I feel vaguely ill. Now, there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do health care, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. While vast empty spaces are oddly captivating, we do occasionally need to build things in order to provide the healthcare. A reception desk in this case. Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, 
tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Let's get that diagnosis room up and running. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you in the right direction. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click Build to confirm. Wonderful! Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door, and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. Not my cup of tea, personally. Now, a replica of an XTC 5000 block engine. Well, my word, Director, I'm near satisfaction from the thought alone. That's the diagnosis room, Mary. Now we'll need a treatment room. Ms. Ryan will be in touch with the juicy details. Skin! Everyone has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton. Or nothing at all. The Skin Lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the Skin Lab instead of a shower sometimes. Excellent! We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Excellent work! Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work, and more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis, so do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim.
We are ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Ready to begin? And away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things, and one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete tri- Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Ah, uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Ah, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. Finally. Behold! The patient panel! I've highlighted the condition track. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll read a boning chamber. chamber a retrofitted mining machine which chomps fresh minty new skeletons directly into our patients an assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reason that'll teach me to poach staff from Salazan. anyway that's all fixed and it's mostly safe mostly Ah, the boning chamber. A fine room indeed. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. I think I'll call him Harold. I have the foggiest idea why. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs, like hunger and energy, are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. Details about the staff lounge and its function are ready for you, Director. The 
This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. <laughs> so they get this and I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. We'll need to build a staff lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. facilities have been installed and the number of organics who have relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of... The robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? It appears that Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster and that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. <laughs> yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on. Well, I guess so. Also, Heel keeps saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend! Medi, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Bugger me! What in the world is going on? Hello there! I think it's okay, Heel. 
It's just a really big alien. First of all, Mary, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. And in the absence of any better ideas, perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Bazanor of Sorgoria. Baz is also fine, in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about mm, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Director. This is an opportunity we can't pass up. Colossals are notoriously elusive. Few even get to talk to them, let alone get all up in the- Let's help him out. First, you'll need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That'll let us take a look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. The shuttle is primed and ready for your launch order, Director. And away she goes! Our shuttle will collect the sample from Baz via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. Ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. The shuttle is back with the sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do, just with less, you know, brains. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. Remember, you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information. Director, we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Hit the priority button here to make sure the canister is seen to as quickly as possible. Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, no, well, anything you like really, but emergencies in particular. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Despite his freaky space flesh, I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Director, heal? Some mean-looking mollusk just entered the hospital. Yes, Mary. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. 
Director, Medi is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomitons himself, but if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> Just a, a little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. Canisters are brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids and waiting in your docking bay. Let's get them sent out. I can't wait to see if this works. If it doesn't, we may all be going to jail. <laughs> Exciting! The shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command, Director. She's away! Keep an eye on the display, Director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. Before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Well, I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Air. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down and map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh, uh die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. to provide the best possible healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. Welcome to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. Not to worry, should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential rewards you can earn. Feel free to peruse the remaining tabs at your leisure, or close the panel when you're ready to proceed.
Success rate, the more patient, there are many ways patients can expire. Uh, long waits, ineffective treatments, and, and so on. This panel will let you review the current factors affecting patient health, and thereby tell you what needs correcting. Digestive systems, the pernicious sense of self, all the tricky nuances of meaty life need to be satisfied by facilities. And this panel will help you track which ones are most needed. This panel tracks how well you're fulfilling the needs of your staff. The galaxy is home to many kinds of species, all with their own dis... Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a novel concept. Hey! Director. The training room is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing with the memories of experts in their field. It can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. People can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, let's get a training room built so we can help our staff become their best selves, whether they like it or not. <laughs> A fine, fresh training room. Now, oh, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. What's up? That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless. And will deposit a large number of credits into our account when you catch them. As to why they can open accounts of their own, I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. Hello again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares as thanks for helping me out. Browser wares. I'll exchange any item for some credits. And just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, I've got a hollow dock, I think you call it. Oh, and I've also got a Medibot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item, and I'll transport it over to your inventory. As for the hollow dock, I must insist that you take it. It keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. A fine invention. I'll chuck it in. Ooh, it's payday!
The hollow dock emitter Baz has gifted us is a valuable piece of kit. A room upgrade. Place it in one of our treatment rooms and it'll kick into action. Hollow docks are driven by advanced predictive AI. They're not sapient and thus require neither pain nor rest. This would make them perfect doctors, if not for the limitations on their AI, which prevent them from learning or demonstrating any personality whatsoever. These qualities do make them excellent corporate executives, however. Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow them to work far more effectively in one specific room. Select an expertise to continue. Here, you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Choose one to continue. Fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. That's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots, in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous Director. And with that, we've completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work! We're receiving a call from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazon. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're... A robot? Well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible... My workers were performing an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had warped into some manner of transparent slime. Here, then, is my offer to your fine company. If you're able to keep some workers alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll send you some space money. Of course. We'll send over a contract and then we can... That won't be necessary. Good luck to you and good... Well, that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Thank you.
Director, the emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Let's save as many as we can. Be sure to prioritize them so they're seen to as quickly as possible. And I think now's the time to use that stabilizing solution we received from Baz. I'm done for. I'm done for. Help me! Hello! This is Dorian Salazar expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. Their colleagues appreciate you. Keep it up and so on.
Three of those workers have now informed us that they'll be ready for work in two hours. Rather better than expected, Galacticares. Saves us a good bit of time on ordering new interns. Seven whole workers have returned to my warm bosom. I don't know where you get your mojo, but you know your health care. Cracking work, Galacticares! You've saved legal a lot of man hours in blocking insurance payments. I'm sending you the agreed upon Dosh and a vinyl of my newest album. A novel delight for any aficionados of smooth jazz. Quite the ride, Director! I'm up to my pineal gland in new data! Either that, or I'm overdosing on hypercalf. I'm going to dive right into genome mapping Baz. His cells keep phasing through the collector, so it might take a bit of tinkering. He will apprise you of our next job. But for now, thanks for making this real. You're bringing our dream to life. Now, let's change the galaxy. Excellent work, Director. Ms. Orion seems thrilled, and we've already booked another contract. A music festival in Earth's space, if you can believe it. What's a music festival, Heel? In this case, Medi, I dread to imagine. Earmuff mode on standby. I'd rather your circuits weren't blown out by exposure to odian harsh noise. Director, should you prefer to hang about and continue working in your fine hospital, we'll remain on site with you until you choose to move on. 